Right, this is Sheila in 2008, and I'm just going to um, do a recording, one of many that I did w during my visit to Dorset in search of my grandchildren's ancestors, um, starting, say, with the Merefields, sometimes known as Merrifield, by the way. Um, these are the same families, but um, the spelling of the name and even the pronunciation does change. Although it's clear from the censuses that it's the same family that because of the identical names, identical ages, and places where they lived. Um, this was brought to my attention with Victor um, when looking at his war records. He's mainly down as Merrifield as opposed to Merefield, but he has the same father has recorded in the census under um, Merefield. Um, so here we go, this is Sheila in her camper van um, pottering around the Dorset countryside um, and I come across Fontmel Magna where I know um, Merefields resided in the past. So this is a live recording of me in 2008 out and about on family tree research. This is me. Um, I've just left Compton Abbas, and I'm, I've never been to Fontmel Magna before, so I'm in my van driving along um, trying to find where it is. Um, I'm on a very busy road, so it is a bit noisy, parts of the tape here, and it's also me rambling on a bit in the beginning. Like the way out there. I don't know 
where I got the water clock this time. I got the cow. It was great difficulty finding somewhere to park when I visited Fontmel Magna. As you can imagine, it's a quaint English village with very little narrow um, lanes mainly with the cottages leading off and the church dominating the centre of the village. So I was having problems finding somewhere to park my VW camper van, but I did eventually. St Andrew's Church, Fontmel Magna. Lovely pretty little English village, all prim and proper. They don't like the looks, like there's people like me in here, I don't spare, roaming about their church. I'm just having a look at some names anyway. I'm doing this for Daisy and Amber. Harry and Dave and Sandy. They've already been here once, I think. Sure she said they found some. Sure she said they found some. It's all very neat. Oh, right, I'm still looking. I'm just having a look. I'm not going to make a note of them all. Very pretty. Come to see if St Andrew's Church, Fontsmill Magna is open. Oh yeah, somebody in there. <coughs> in proud memory of the men of Fontsmill Magna who, fell, who died for England, 1914, 1919. You've got, uh, you've got V.G. Merrifield there, Corporal. There's one on there then. Just met to a lady who reminded me that Fontmel Magna is actually online with the parish records and um, I did go on there, that's brilliant, yeah. Um, so there are some, they call them Merrifields around here and there is someone called Ian Merrifield who lives at Cannes and there's also the local undertakers, other Merrifields or Merrifields. So there's all bits of information you pick up which are handy for the tree. Like I said, I could go home really today. I've sort of done everything. So it's been nice to stay in the van one more night. I'm just having a look at all the graves really because you've got to go lateral as well as vertical up, up and down. You have to remember that people married other people and their names change. That's, uh, this is the newer part I'm looking at now, but it's all relevant really to the research. Daisy, if you ever listen to this tape recording one day, you'll know that I was out wandering around the Dorset countryside on your behalf and Amber, I get my little Amber and Harry. Yes, this is um, the birthplace of some of their ancestors here. It was, um, yeah, okay, the woman was polishing the floor, so I couldn't really um, take note of, like I normally do. 
I'm looking at all the old ones first. Of course, I can't remember all the names. I've got my book. I need to get back in time for the football as well. All right, we found a mirror field. Here we are. William in loving memory of a beloved husband and father, William James Mirfield, 1918 to 1965. Also, Sybil Joan Norman Mirfield, 1919 to 2001. A much-loved mother and nan. Also, their grandson, Damien James Cannell, 1973 to 1993. A much-loved son and brother. I'll take a picture of that. Yeah, the church has got a few sort of Victorian features, those little spiky pointy things around the churches and gargoyles. Sort of grey stone, a bit of bath stone put in places. Lots of colour placard and moss all over it. Um, like I said, there was something clean in the church, didn't like me walking about really. Um, I haven't been able to find any um, leaflets on the church either, or the other one. Uh, a lot of the graves are overgrown here, you know, it's four foot high um, grass and that sort of thing. There's a big one too, Mary Bishop, Bible Richard Bishop, 1878, the 84, and then there's a Thomas Bennett Jesse, son of John and Mary Jesse. Oh, right, this um, tape will continue on in tape two of my visit to Fontmel Magna. There's not always room on the 12 minutes to put everything down. So it's over and out for now.